How many of you want Hillary Clinton to run for president in 2020? Go. <laughs> <laughs> Democrats may be done with Hillary, but have no heir apparent to the party's nomination in 2020. A new Politico poll shows Biden, Bernie, and Beto for now leading the dozens of Democrats mulling a White House run. Brian Kilmeade has some thoughts on that. He's co-host of Fox and Friends and the author of the New York Times bestseller, Andrew Jackson and the Miracle of New Orleans, which is now out in paperback. Let's just take on Hillary for a second. I mean, no charisma. She's aging. She's fainting. The donors are probably going to have alligator arms. They're not going to double down on another loser. Husbands lost the fastball. What do you think? I don't think it's possible. I know Mark Penn wrote that column, and he does know the Clintons very well, even though he's on the outs with them right now. He's probably one of the best guests you can have because he doesn't have a horse in the race, but he's got great insight on the Clintons and what's going on. And he, I believe that she's going to be a player. If a Democrat wins, I look for her to have a prominent spot. But there's no way she could put up with the rigors. I mean, have you seen her in uh, some of uh, many book tours? She can't keep up. Are you saying she doesn't have the strength or the stamina to run for president for a no, third time? No question, nor the message. And okay. I don't think they'll have the heart. Uh, to go back to her, and I don't think anyone will have a problem telling her to go home. Okay, all right, so Biden now, and he's leading the pack by a significant margin. He's at 26 percent. I mean, he was at 1 percent the last couple times he ran for president. He'd have to leech off the Obama donor list. He's kind of a relic, in my opinion. Do you think he has a shot? 77 years old, absolutely not. The biggest fallacy is that Joe Biden is this guy coming along at the perfect time. Now's his, now's his time. No. no. For the last four years of the Obama administration, you didn't see much because we saw the first four years. Because when you don't give him a script and you let him go, he embarrassed, he embarrassed He's President He's not Obama. disciplined. No discipline. The working class thing is a bit of an act. I think he gets carried away with himself. I think he'll be destroyed and eaten up. By, uh, by President Trump. And here's the thing. The person that's going to beat President Trump is somebody that's not going to go directly at him. He's okay, well, that kill, brings kill us... with charm. That brings us to O'Rourke. Now, O'Rourke, I'm not sure he's got the sharp elbows. I think if he was running, he'd probably play nice in the Democratic primary. He didn't really go for the jugular against Ted Cruz. But he's so untested. Yes, he could raise a lot of money from small donors, but on a national level... Do you think he's got a shot? Oh, listen, I, I think he's got a couple of things going for him. He's got the charisma, charm, and likability. He's already got 36 to $50 million. Are you charmed by, by him? Who you talk to? Personally, not charmed, but we can both respect people that are good on camera. Yes. That are very comfortable in their own skin. Yes, he's my very comfortable. My problem is he's way for too far to the left. And has been brought up before, he could have taken Ted Cruz if he was moderate. But well, his, yeah, his he policies was, uh, were way out He there. said kneeling for the anthem was patriotic in Texas. Right. That was a big mistake. Okay, um, speaking of too far to the left, Sanders. Now, Sanders is performing pretty well. He's at 19% in this poll. But I feel like his moment was last time. I don't think And his the moment... power brokers in the Democratic Party, they're not going to let him take the nomination. Jesse, how would you feel about this? You're in a party. That's not the Democratic Party isn't necessarily your party. I got to look more into your background and Google you and see if you're there. But he doesn't want to be a Democrat. He was asked again, "Are you a Democratic? Uh, you a, a part of the Democratic Party?" He said no. So he <laughs> wants to go win a nomination at a party. And he look can't at his hair, Brian. To. Look at his hair. Right. As can he, you run for president with hair like that? He's not happy. He's too old. He's a socialist. <laughs> Pick one of the three. Okay. He's shot. All right. Let's go to Elizabeth Warren quickly. I think she's toast. She totally imploded. You. Regional candidate at best, smart, but I don't think by, by any chance she goes through middle America, even the West Coast. I think the one that's interesting is Kamala Harris. She's got to get happy. She's got to talk more. It's not likable. She's too quiet. I don't think she's likable. I think she's young. She's attractive, female, African-American. She can raise a lot of money in California. But there's something that's, like you said, O'Rourke was charming. I don't see her as charming. Here's a, not charming because we haven't seen enough of her. We only see in the attack mode. But I would say this. The person that could be Trump... It's not going to be who's going to out-tough Trump. You don't go directly at him, point out the thing he does well, and say how you're going to be different. Do not punch back. He does not like being the bully. He likes being the one that avenges. If you don't let him avenge, you say, he's turned around the economy. He's got a great personal story. I appreciate his family, but this is how I'm different. That's the combination that will keep the Trump people down, and it'll keep Donald Trump from punching first. He doesn't like punching first. All right, he's a counterpuncher. Brian Kilmeade, also a counterpuncher. Go buy his book.